Good morning folks, welcome. It is a Sunday morning and the sun is shining in the Isle of Man. I've got my sunglasses on. <laughs> so today I am going to walk 13, 12, 13 miles. It's a walk all uphill. I did a bit of it on one of my videos a while ago when it was raining and miserable, but um, I really want to do this walk today. Uh, there's a walk in the Isle of Man called the Parish Walk. It is 85 miles long and you've got to do it in 24 hours. Uh, this is supposed to be one of the hardest parts of this walk. It's all uphill, it's all up the slock. I walked up that hill a few weeks back in the miserable rain. But I'm doing it today. I'm going to walk to Peel and then I'm going to have an ice cream. It's going to be a hell of a walk, but I'm looking forward to it. Look at this weather. Seriously. I've got a hoodie on. Just a hoodie. This is what I'm up to. I've been waiting for this weather. I can't wait till summer comes. I can't wait to get up in these hills, walk and walk and walk. It's gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna get going and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Right folks, that's the first long walk. That's not even, that's not even the hard bit. Oh, check out this view guys. This is phenomenal. Uh, hang on, let me turn the camera on. That there is the hill I walked up a few weeks ago with uh, Dave and Steve uh, with the ruins on top, Mole Hill. But look at this, up there everywhere. Yeah. But look at this. That's the slope I've just walked up. And I started around there somewhere, <laughs> can't really see, uh, yeah, that road down, uh, there, <laughs> anyway, look at the view, that's Port St Mary over there, Port Erin over there, uh, uh, there is over a thousand feet elevation on this walk, uh, that's the hard bit, getting up it. <laughs> but then again, it's a thousand feet to walk down as well, which shouldn't be too bad. <sighs> right, let's keep going. <sighs> Tell you what. Views like this. Oh my God, this island is absolutely stunning. Honest to God. Look at this. Look at this view. Hey. Look at this. Oh. Check this out, guys. Just getting towards the bottom of the slock now. Uh, I can't stop smiling. I'm enjoying this walk so much. It's such, it's such a nice change. It's warm. It's sunny. All I've got on is a hoodie. I haven't got a big heavy coat on. I haven't got a hat. I haven't got a scarf. Oh. This is great. I can't wait. The clocks went forward this morning. So that means the evenings are going to be longer. I can start doing these walks in the evening. I do love walking the promenade, but it's nice for a change of scenery. This island has so much to give, so much to see. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to show you all as well. Lots of vehicles today though. Last time, I, last time I walked up here, I think about three cars passed me, that was it. That was a Sunday morning as well. Right, here's the hill. So, I'm heading up there and this is the slock. I've done it before, but I've done 
over two miles already before I've got to it. Last time I started at the bottom, so uh, gotta keep going and uh, catch up at the top. Stock. Guys, this camera doesn't do justice to this view. Whew. Unbelievable. Right guys, we are over the top of the slock. Uh, now we've got the walk down to the round table and then we're heading down to Dolby. It is absolutely stunning. This is what it's all about, folks. Get yourself out of days like this. A lot of people, I find a lot of you are asking me about my weight loss. Do you know what, it's just getting out walking. But of course diet is a big part of it. I know, and I have gone to the gym and I do work out and stuff, but this, this is my main exercise now. Getting out, getting walking, feeling that burn in your legs. I'm not even halfway through this walk. Check out these views. Oh my god. Just passing the halfway mark, six miles. I still feel good. <laughs> I still feel good. Uh, my right foot's a bit sore, a bit of a blister. The rest of me feels fine. Uh, no way, no aching, no pain. Just really enjoying this walk. The weather's amazing. The scenery, as I've said multiple times already in this video, is fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going and I'll update you in a bit. Okay, folks, last time I did this walk, it was pouring down here and I decided to go up this hill. <laughs> yeah, that was a mistake. I'm sticking to the road today and that's it. Oh, nearly eight miles in now, folks. Uh, my feet are starting to get really sore. Uh, it's all been downhill, so it's just stomp, stomp, stomp on the, uh, this bit, <laughs> the, this bit of my hand, uh, of my feet. Uh, so, yeah, my feet are getting sore from it. But once I get down into Dolby here, it's, uh, it's pretty much straight until I get to Glen May. And then it's a downhill walk and then right up the hill in there and then straight through Patrick all the way to Peel. So, I can see the end now. <laughs> Still a long way, but I can see it. So, I'm just past 11 miles now. Legs are getting a bit stiff. Uh, feet are a bit sore. But I still feel really good. Uh, I reckon I've got another mile and a half to go, maybe. I can see Peel, <laughs> but I've got to get to the promenade and Peel, and I'm going to get an ice cream. I have burned so far uh, well over 2,000 calories, uh, 2,200 calories, so <laughs> I don't think. A large whippy is going to eat into my uh, calorie deficit today. Considering I've not actually ate anything yet. I mean, I got up, got dressed, came out for a walk. I know that's not good, but I feel good, so. Oh, I will talk to you guys when I get to Peel. Okay, guys. 
Please hit my uh, Instagram and Twitter up at Josie27. Thank you for watching.